Round number one. Golden purple trunks for Martin Trey Brown. Black and white trunks for Bobby Taylor. Brown immediately to the clinch, half tight plunk. Counter left hand, the right hand by Taylor backs off Brown. Snap jab from Trey Brown, overhand right on the entry. Counter right hand from Taylor. On this turn, short right hand, there's the uppercut. That right there is definitely where Brown wants to, or not Brown, Taylor wants to be. Taylor the driving head pressure. See Bobby Taylor framing against the chest of Trey Brown. Now the separation. Duck under from Trey Brown to the clinch. Quick break from Andrew Glenn in activity. Glenn keeping this fight moving. On the double jab from Trey Brown. A little short punches on the inside by Trey Brown. Taylor now resetting. Off the jab. Taylor pulling back that rear right uppercut. Taylor sitting on that right hand. Lands it on the uppercut. And Brown ducking under line and coming inside, but he's not coming with him with punches. He's just trying to push him to pull around. 40 push seconds remaining, round number one of our main event. A little surprised by that. Right hand. Long jab from Trey Brown, just out of range. They were trying to get his jab working. Overhand right, left on the entry. See, when, when Taylor's coming, throwing these wide looping shots, I feel like Trey Brown's able to see him coming. Easy for him to block. Closing seconds, round number one. Taylor back to the jab. This is with the overhand right. Taylor right hand and down goes Bobby Taylor. Here comes the count. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Taylor up. Nods in the affirmative to Andrew Glenn. Now the end of round number one. Now round number two. Big overhand right misses from Taylor. Staying behind the jab, loading up that right hand. Big right hand on the entry from Martin Trey Brown. Forty seconds gone, round two. Wild swing, wild miss from Bobby Taylor. Uncharacteristically so. Taylor on the turn, could throw the right hand. Good left hook, nothing there from Taylor. See these big swings, but Taylor taking himself off balance. Once again, you can just tell right now, Trey Brown's just waiting for the perfect opportunity. He's waiting for Bobby Taylor to Pull that arm back and open up and open for him to land that big punch. Rear right uppercut from Taylor. Nothing there. Duck under on the left hook. Taylor's throwing wide and big, Chris. Overhand right, that was clubbing. That landed for Bobby Taylor. Saying it was on the back of the head. Straight right hand from Brown. Brown is in control right now. He sees all the punches coming and blocking. Right uppercut, check left hook from Bobby Taylor. Good job by Bobby Taylor trying to find new ways to land punches. Very difficult to fight a guy who's a little bigger than you, very fast, hard to hit. Brown, very hard to hit. Snatches the overhook, slips that right hand just before the bell, then ends round number two. First up to scratch is Trey Brown. Taylor joins him, round three. Nothing there for Taylor. Trey Brown staying methodical. There's that defense, pulling away from that rear right hand of Taylor. Slapping. Landed on the chest. 
There's the power punch, as you can see. Taylor's still one more, but it's not in as many. Huge percentage right there. Taylor landed over 50% of his power punches. Taylor takes the knee. Smart from Bobby Taylor. Very smart. That's a better move right there. You get hurt. Don't just stand there and take a knockout. Go ahead and take your take a, a knee. Then you get an eight second. You can recoup. Counter right hand into the clinch. Half tie plum held by Brown. Then the exit right hand. With a wild swing and a miss from Bobby Taylor. He's having trouble getting that distance. If he's in another six inches, he can land that hook, but he's not able to get in there without getting peppered with punches right away. Big right hands, and down goes Bobby Taylor for the second time in round three. And he is leaking bad right there. That's a bad cut right there. Oh, he's just leaking blood right now. I'm sure they're going to probably take a look at him, see if he's going to be out of the fight. No three knockdown rule. The referee, Andrew Glenn, is going to watch Bobby Taylor very closely. Final seconds, round three. Trey Brown coming forward again. He's in full control of this fight. Taylor down three times in the bout, twice in round three. We will move to round four. Round number four. As Chris, you figured out quicker than most people going 3-0 and in bare knuckle. Yeah, I was kind of a student of the game. I watched a few fights and I tried to figure out what made this different. And I kind of learned right away, I went there and started practicing. This is not boxing with no gloves. Overhand left on the entry into the clinch. Taylor looking to turn Trey Brown. Separation from Andrew Glenn. Good refereeing, showing the S grip was locked up. That's why he separated the fighters in active clinch. Overhand right lands. And that starts to blood flow once again from Bobby Taylor's forehead. Throughout this card, Chris, we've talked about toughness, tenacity, character. Look at Bobby Taylor down three times in this fight. He's taken some massive shots. 60 seconds remaining, round number four, and here is Bobby Taylor standing tall, center circle. Still coming to fight, still trying to land that big punch. The warrior spirit of Japanese MMA fully embodied here in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. 35 seconds remaining, round four. That was clever from Brown. Step in with that lead left uppercut. Overhand right. Andrew Glenn saying, I call for break. Soft warning to Bobby Taylor. Taylor's a very clean fighter, just simply got caught up in the moment. Taylor missing with that lead left hook. More swings and misses from Bobby Taylor in this bout than we've seen in his three previous bare knuckle fights combined, Chris. Well, he comes out there and he throws hard punches. He does it all the time. This time he's just got a guy who's not there to be hit. So he's throwing punches. He's desperate right now. He knows he's down. He's been on the canvas three times. He's throwing wild punches. Bobby Taylor down three times in this fight. And we fight on. Dropped by Brown in round number one. Taking a knee in round three and then dropped cleanly. In the later stages of round three and a huge right hand from Trey Brown. Big exhale from Bobby Taylor, left hand. Trey Brown in full control of this fight now. Taylor with his back against the ropes. Half tie plum from Trey Brown. One ten remaining, fifth and final round. Left hand from Taylor. Taylor still throwing, ducking his head. Final minute of this fight. Another big exhale from Taylor. We talked about the defensive acumen of Martin Trey Brown. Chris, you see how clean his face is. 
Yeah, he hasn't really taken too many clean shots. We talked about defense right there. Defense wins championships. You guys think, look at that, just slick movement right there. On cue, as you were talking about, his superior defense. Ducking under that right hand from Bobby Taylor. Now 30 seconds remaining in our main event. Jab again from Trey Brown. Big right hand on the counter. And Bobby Taylor's face just continues to leak. Massive smear of blood on the left side of Taylor's forehead. Taylor's going to get the moral victory. Brown's going to get the victory. First class performance from Martin Trey Brown. Surely next stop a world title fight versus Luis Palomino. All heart from Bobby Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five rounds at our main event, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. All three judges scored this fight 49-43 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and your new number one contender for the BKFC World Lightweight Championship, Martin Trey.